Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and this is the Native Instruments Complete Control M32. The M32 is a compact MIDI keyboard with 32 scaled down keys. And while that does make the keys pretty skinny, I found them wide enough for my fingers. I would have preferred a slightly stronger spring action, but otherwise they were comfortable to use. The benefit, of course, is the keyboard is much smaller, easier to carry around, and a good size for laptop music making. In the box, you get the keyboard and a USB cable. The M32 is designed to work with the complete control software that is free to download from the Native Instruments website. And with this software, it works well, both as a standalone app and as plugins in a door. When used with the complete control software, the browse button and the 4D knob lets you scroll through the sound patches, playing a demo of most sound patches. And you can also home in on a specific sound by selecting category filters. The eight control knobs are used to modify the sound patch. The simple two-line display reacts to you touching the top of each knob by showing what the knob controls. Changes made by turning the knob are also shown on the display. The left-right buttons change the controls of the control knobs. The preset buttons can also be used to change the selected sound patch. A cool feature here is the scale button that lets you set the keys to a scale so you never play a wrong note or chord. And the ARP button turns on a basic but useful ARP function. Other nice features are the octave buttons to change the octave of the 32 keys and the modulation and pitch bend touchpads. The M32's integration into a door depends on the door. The integration into GarageBand is excellent and presumably is equally excellent in Logic Pro. In other doors, the M32 is mostly a standard MIDI controller. So, is the M32 worth buying? Well, if you like native instruments, sound patches, and I do, and you like working with the Complete Control plugin, which I do, or your favourite door is GarageBand, or presumably Logic Pro, but you don't want a full-size keyboard, then yes, I definitely think it's worth buying. It's also worth watching out for deals too. I bought my M32 in a recent deal where I got a free copy of Complete 14 Select, which in itself is worth almost twice as much as the M32. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.